going on, world? DS1 Ross, and we back here on Sheep Stay Sleep TV. Shout out to everybody who support the platform, man. Much love, much love. I appreciate all the love and the support. Salute to everybody, and we back with another video. In this video, I want to speak on emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence. And I'm bringing this up because I notice that no matter what level a black man may be on in society, the things that seem to plague us the most are not the things that society say that we need. You see, and even here on YouTube and throughout social media, we have a lot of affluent black men. We have a lot of affluent black men that come from black male academia. You know, we have the Umar Johnsons. We have, we have a lot of, you know, guys who we should hold in high esteem due to the work that they put in, respectfully. But I noticed that a lot of these guys, they always have one problem, and the problem that they're dealing with is the same problem that they complain about here on YouTube, which is women. Even the even the the uh black academia guys. It's like the problem is women. And that ties back to emotional trauma that was never dealt with. And that's something that a lot of guys, you know, even those guys, I feel they need to address. We all need to address. This is my why my motto is what it is and will continue to always be. We got to heal before we build. Because it makes no sense for us to be that um, educationally affluent, but we still having issues with women. Women are the, you know, the the staples of a lot of these guys' lives. You know, women are a lot of guys' um, barriers to reaching, you know, greater things in life. That shouldn't be an issue for us. Definitely not for the BMA guys, you know, the BMA guys, man, they supposed to be the guys that should be teaching us where we should be headed. But I see on even on YouTube, man, that a lot of those guys have those same issues. You know, and respectfully, I understand why. I just don't understand, you know, why these guys can't get over it. <laughs> you know. Why is the black woman's behavior the the catalyst for why black men can't be who we want to be? Why is that being stated by BMA? And I understand how a lot of that stuff is tied into you know, WW, and we know what that is in WS. We understand all of that. But from black male, from our black male academia, man, we, we should be getting a lot more solutions, a lot more practical solutions, a lot more hands-on solutions, not, you know, solutions for us to just run away. 
but actually practical solutions, hands-on solutions. You know, and I think that this, this is something that is not taught in the academic world. They don't teach you how to deal with your emotions effectively, especially black men. We're not taught it at home, so we're definitely not taught it in schools and universities. So no matter how far we go, you know, in the in this um, physical world, as far as us dealing with the rigor the rigmarole of life, you know, none of that's gonna really matter if we don't get our emotions together. If we don't get our traumas in order and set ourselves free from those things as black men, none of that other stuff is going to matter. Being a black doctor, being a black psychologist, none of that stuff is going to matter because it's not going to really be effective. Because we got to heal before we build. Or else will continue to create self-inflicted wounds. And we'll continue to, to just keep repeating the cycle that we see. Emotional intelligence is important. We got to get in tune with what we've been through and address those things, man. And stop finding ways to avoid them and stop finding ways to create smoke screens to get around them. Stop creating narratives, stop trying to create narratives to find ways to counteract you not having to deal with your emotional issues and our emotional traumas as black men. Because this is important. This is not for us to do this for women. This is for us to do this for us so we can set ourselves free and do the things that we really want to do. If we really want to help black men as black men who really want to do this, we got to make sure that we get ourselves in order. And we have to get ourselves in order emotionally. That's more important than financially, because if you are jacked up emotionally, a fool in his money should soon part. So we got to get ourselves together emotionally, fellas. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I drop some new content right here on Sheep Stay Sleep TV. Make sure you also go follow me on the stereo app at Real is Red Pod. That's on the stereo app at Real is Red Pod. Shout out to the masculine mercenaries. One love to all the madam mercenaries. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next video. Peace.